Positively Jax, a local first grader, is using her creativity, her skills and talent to pay it forward. We love these stories, right? So News for Jax reporter Lena Pringle shows us how Brinkley Minter's paintings will help kids around the River City just in time for the spooky season. I like being creative. Brinkley Minter is a first grader at Johnny Ford Elementary I School, whose love for painting painting. will help kids in what need. What kind of paintings are you painting? How did you come up with this idea to help other kids in need through painting? I just really like helping people and I thought it would be a really good idea. Mm -hmm. I have been painting paintings for people and raising money to get kids that live at Soulsbacher Halloween costumes. So she had decided that selling paintings and selling them almost like doing a lemonade stand, but instead with doing her artwork, would be a way that she could raise some funds and contribute, which was really sweet. The annual Halloween party at Souls Barker Center gives children the chance to dress up and participate in all the Halloween fun, a bright spot in an otherwise tough time. Mentor has been very busy these past few weeks painting and selling artwork to complete her mission. The painting's themes are very spooky. Bats are her favorite thing to draw. She's done a ton, um, probably easily 30, 40 paintings over the past week, and she sold most of them, which has been amazing. From a kid to more children, the thought of not having a costume just made her so sad. And if she wants to help with that, it's really heartwarming and, and realizing how much help you can give even at this micro level. So we've been very, very proud of her. I hope you have a happy Halloween and enjoy the costumes. Mentor proving that no act or person is too small to make a positive difference. Thank you for all the donating so far. I think they will be very happy. <laughs> and if you would like to buy a painting or donate to her mission, you can find more information inside this story on newsforjax.com.